Hey, good morning. I'm Andy. Let's go fishing. We're back on Lake Wiley early in the morning. The sun's just coming up. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. We've been hoping this the weather's been perfect last few days. It's about 50 degrees this morning. Feels good. Got three rods out. I'll show you this. We're dragging with three rods. We're going a half a mile an hour. 0.49 mile an hour. 18 foot of water right now. We caught them last week in 20. We'll be hitting 20 pretty soon. And we got uh, nothing but gizzard shad. Gizzard shad head right there. I've only got two gizzard sheds. I've only got two heads. So I got a gizzard shed head there, body section there, body section, body section there. So, sun's just starting to peak up. And we're we're ready. I always feel good first thing in the morning, you know. The anticipation, you know. It's, it's uh sometimes the anticipation of going fishing is better than the actual trip lots of times. But uh I think we're gonna do good today. Alright. Wish us luck. Whoa, look at there. Look at there. You know, shallow water, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, uh. All right, we're hooked up. Four foot of water, y'all. Uh, might be on to something. The water temperature's only 63 back in here, so I wasn't expecting. I was actually making a turn, thinking about heading back out. But uh, we got a bite in this shallow water and that's not a bad fish either not a bad fish at all not a bad one yeah first fish of the morning oh yeah third different tactic here Yeah, not a bad fish. Got him. All right. All right. Yeah, getting ready for that spawn. Look at that berry. We got a big fat belly. All right. There we go. Pretty good. One. First fish. Yeah. Shallow, four and a half foot of water. Turn that tail that way. They don't want to turn the tail right, do they? All right. Nice and. Let's let him go. Let her go. Oh. oh. Gone. All right. Let's do that again, y'all. There he is. Under the bridge. Got a bite. Yeah, look at him way back here. All right on top. That's shallow water. Look at that fish. Yeah. All right. Got a little more line out than I thought. Oh boy. Alright, I think we're on to something, y'all. Get this thing straightened up here. Got another little bear, looks like. No. Okay. Don't get tangled up. I'm gonna have to anchor this thing. Anchor right here. Spot lock right here. All right, let's get this fish in. They're definitely shallow, y'all. They're definitely shallow.
Most fish to come in four foot of water. I can thank uh, Catfish Dave for this. I watched him, he's been catching them in four foot of water. Our climate's about the same right now where I'm at. And uh, that's where they're at. So I'm just doing what Catfish Dave was doing. And it's paying off. Yes, sir. Paying off. Uh oh. Oh, she's hooked good. Got him. Got him. All right. That's another one, y'all. All right. All right. All right. Got another one, y'all. All right. Don't roll over my mouth. Little eggs up here in four foot of water. Up under this bridge. Shallow, super shallow. All right. Let's do it again, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. This is fun. All right. He's just nibbling. I think he's hooked. Yeah, he's on there. Shallow water, I tell you, they're in the shallow water. Oh, he come off. Dad blessed it. Lost him. He was on there, y'all. But that happens. That happens. That's on my brim head I just put out. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let me get back out there. Back at him. There's one. There's one. Oh, on that brim head again. Hopefully he's still on there. Maybe he's coming to me. Nope. Dad blessed it. Dad blessed it. Missed another one, y'all. Just another one. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn the boat around and head out of here. There he is. Yeah. He's not very big, I don't think. He's done come off. Oh, oh, he's on there. Coming to me. Yeah, we got him. It's coming to me. This was on a piece of shad, but it's fresh shad. I got brim heads out on the other two. This is not a big one, but it's number three. Is that a channel? Yeah, that's a channel cat. Sure is, that's a channel. Channel cat, not front camera worthy according to uh, Justin Johnson, and I agree with him. So 
we let him go. But that was number three, so we got a video. All right. There he is. Yeah. Another smaller one. Maybe a channel. Yeah. Or small blue. But it's a fish. Oh, he got off. Y'all see that? Oh well. Now I don't have to unhook him. Huh? Little dink bite. Yeah, the dink bite. Probably a little channel. I've changed up here. I'm anchored. I'm anchoring out here because I think this boat may uh, has some good hookups in here. I see him hitting it. And uh, I've caught two nice fish. And I had another good one hooked that I know of. Maybe two more. No, actually two more good ones hooked. And that I lost. So uh, I decided just to anchor. And I, so I got the spot lock. I got the trolling motor spot lock. And the wind was going a bunch of different directions. So I could put an anchor in the back. Like I said, it's only five foot deep. It's easier to anchor fish in shallow water because you have, it's easier to keep your lines tight, you know, and than it is when you're fishing deep and you try to anchor. But we're anchored right now. Like I said, we're getting a deep right there. It's probably a channel cat. That's the bad thing about this. I don't have much bait. I don't have much bait at all. I'm down to one shad. I had two brim and two shad, and now I'm down to just uh, one shad left. It's about that big, though. That's not much. Uh, these channel cats are going to chew them up. That's not going to be a lot of bait. But we're going to give this a try and see if we can hook a big in this way. All this water I'm fishing in, anywhere from probably three and a half to five foot deep, like a four foot average. I think I'm sitting at four foot right now. Uh, let's see, four foot six, and the deepest I've seen in here was 5.1, so, and we're just waiting on a big one. I think he's hooked. Yeah, he's hooked. Plenty more come off, I don't know how that happened. Down the way back there. He's not big. But he's hooked. Another channel. I thought I'd get some channel bites in there. We're not going to get out the camera, the front camera for that one. Unusual mark right there. Looks like a buffalo with his tongue sticking out. Hmm. All right. I believe that is a fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fish. Oh yeah. Yeah. I had a little bit deeper, y'all. 16 foot of water. We got here in the heat of the day and I think they went a little deeper on me. Yeah. Went a little deeper. Feels like a good fish. Pretty good fish. I just had another one hit and come off. We was fishing back over there. You see over yonder, we was fishing over yonder in that shallow flat. Now we moved out here in a little bit deeper water because uh, they just quit back there. 
got more line out than I thought. Oh, don't, he's rolling. It's a blue for sure. See him rolling. He don't want to come up. Hope he's hooked good. I've lost two or three fish today. It's like it's gonna be the biggest one. That's a good fish. Yeah. Yeah. Look at there. Is that, the, that's a, is, that a, is that a huge channel? No, that's a blue. Or is that just a huge channel? That's a big, no, it ain't. That's a channel. That's a big channel. That's big for a channel cat right there. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a big old channel cat. Sure is. <sighs> nice and I don't usually care for channel cats, but that one right there, I catch them all day, I'll tell you what. Close to 20 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Big channel. He's front camera worthy. Y'all hold on. Y'all, while I was trying to get this in here, look, we got another one. Yeah. We got a double. We got a double. Sure do. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Got a big channel laying in the bottom of the boat and we hooked up again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. What a day. A great day in the morning. Right here in the middle of the day, too. When you least expect them to hit. They're hitting. I wonder if this is another big channel. He's coming up. He's a pretty good fish. I think he's blue though. I don't know. It might be another big channel, y'all. Catch a fish like this. That's a blue, nice blue. Yeah. On that head. Oh, where's my net? Okay. I got a mess here. See if I can squeeze him around. Look at that. He's just doing just what I want him to do. Here we go. He's swimming the net. Yeah, got him, got him. Good one. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I still got the other one there. I got a big channel and a big blue. <sighs> Hit that head there. He wants that head. He wanted that head. Yes, sir. All right. This is great. This is awesome. All right. I'm going to cut this off and get the front camera ready. Oh, we got two in here in the boat. We got usually, I would say these are not worthy for the front camera, but that's a that's a big channel. Nice channel, kid. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that was fun. All right, all right. And look at here, we got another one in here. This one right here is bigger than that.
This girl's mean right here. She bites hard. She bites very hard. Good fish, over 20. Yeah, that's a good one. She's biting. Whew. She's full of eggs, look at that. Full of eggs. Let's let her go. Off back to the deep. <sighs> All right. I tell you what, we may just end it on that. <laughs> Cap it off. Two fish, I'm about out of bait. I might could bait up one more. I've only got three rods out. And I think I lost both my baits on that right there. But uh, I tell you, I don't know if it gets much better than that right there. It's a nice day. Well, it does get better, but it can be a lot worse too. It's an awesome day. We caught, uh, I think, we caught four good fish, nice ones, and we caught three or four smaller channel cats. And we lost, I think we lost three fish that we actually had hooked up. Two of them felt pretty good, so it's been a great day. Great day. But it's getting, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I, I can't believe they're biting this good in the middle of the day like this, but they are. You never know what they're gonna do. I came out here early in the morning, started fishing right at daybreak. And the places I fished was uh, where I fished last week, where I caught three, one place I caught three in one, in one spot, I didn't get a bite there. And I tried everything up there. So it was like nine o'clock before I found the fish, 9.30. I'd been fishing for two or three hours and I found them in four foot of water. So that's where they were at this, today. They were in four foot of water this morning. If I'd come over here earlier this morning, back in that creek and fish, and went in that creek first thing, I would have had a time, I bet, but you never know. And, uh, but they were in four foot of water as it warmed up, as the temperature got warmer, they went deeper, they come out here. But the four foot of water is only, what, maybe three or 400 yards away. It's not that far, not far at all. So, it's that far. And they come back out here in the 16, 17 foot of water, and there's this little stage here, you know, it's, while the temperatures are steady, they'll stay here during the day. When it gets nighttime, it starts cooling back off, they'll head back to that shallow water. At least that's what I think. I don't know, but uh, from the way I'm, the way they're biting, that's what I would say they were doing. Anyway, I think we're going to call that a trip. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, like and subscribe if you got a mind to. And uh, we'll be fishing again next weekend. All right. <laughs>